Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to uh, give you some more keyboard commands, shortcut keys in Word and this is for sighted people so I don't have uh, JAWS going. You can see my mouse is highlighted and if you've watched previous lessons you will know uh, how to change your mouse so you can actually see it better. So I want to take you down here. I'm going to show you the hotkey. Whenever you pin something on the taskbar, and I've done this with other lessons, all you have to do is pair it with Windows, and then that's one, two, three, four, five. So Word is on the fifth slot of my taskbar, so if I do Start Key 5 or Windows Key 5, it immediately opens. Okay, so here are our tasks today. I'm going to go over Zoom, Page, Orientation, Margins, Headers and Footers, and Auto Number. So the first thing is Zoom. If you want to be able to see your page uh, in a larger view and you're doing a lot of work and you get any type of eye fatigue, this is a great command. So do an Alt-V, think I'm going to view, and then hit Z for Zoom. And where I'm getting these commands is uh, Office 2003. They're really kind of DOS commands. Uh, they enable you to use your hotkeys no matter what office you're using, which is so great. And I'm just going to hit 2 for 200% and you're going to see this is just great. What's nice about going the zoom option versus your control D and enlarging font to 16 or 18 is if you forget to move it back down to regular size font and you print, you're going to be in trouble. Versus if you zoom and you have a particular font style, and nothing's changing. You do a control P and you print, it's all the same. So now let's do page orientation. Now the next thing I want to show you is if you hit your alt key, your alt key, no matter where you are at, highlights your menus. So even in the internet, you hit your alt key and say it's, your menu is not even showing up. What's so great about that alt key is it immediately enables you to show up and the letters up here mean this is what you use in order to use your hotkey so we're going to hit P we did alt P that's going to take us to the page layout so I'm going to hit P and it immediately opens once again you see all these letters underneath of your item we want orientation so we're going to go to O so I'm going to hit O and there it is. It's in portrait right now. That means the piece of paper is tall and skinny. Uh, but I want to go down to uh, landscape and you just have to use your arrow keys and hit enter and you change your orientation. So if I was to do Alt V Z and hit 7 for 75% so you can see there is landscape. So let's do Alt P hit O, hit on, enter on portrait, there's portrait, okay? So tall and skinny, but we want to do Alt P, hit O, and we're going to go down to landscape. So now it's wide. Let's go ahead and go back to our large view, Alt V, Z, and hit 2 for 200%. The next thing is our margins. Now my margins, the default on most Office products is 1 inch. So let's do Alt P and notice that M, so we're going to hit M for margins. And I have lots of different customized. Uh, when my students do uh, newspapers or poster boards, we do the point three. But you can go ahead and do point one. Let's say you want to make a custom. If you look down here all the way to custom, you're going to see A. So you can just hit A and you can actually customize your margins so you can tell it to do whatever you want to. Let's go ahead and just keep it 1.25. To move around, this is called a dialog box. You tab, okay, so you tab around your dialog boxes and you can just type in and change whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and hit escape and get out of there because we don't need to change anything. Our next item is headers and footers. Okay. We've got headers and footers, another easy command. You could find it the longer way in your uh, higher office products, but the shorter way is you're, you're going to go to your headers with Alt-V. Think I'm going to view my H headers, and there we are in our headers. Now, most papers require you to write a line or move that cursor to the right-hand side of your page, so Control-R moves it to the right. And we're going to go ahead and type in your last name or however your teacher has told you to do it. 
Now let's go ahead and auto insert page numbers. So if you have 100 pages or more or less, you can go ahead and auto insert these page numbers. So think insert all I and you're going to hit U. No, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it just happens to be U. So there's right. If I up and down arrow, I could change it, but I don't want to. I want right. So I just hit enter and it's all you have to do is enter and it auto inserts for you. Let's say I need to get down to the footer. All you have to do is down arrow and here we are into the footer. And now I'm left aligned. Hit escape and pop out. So let's go ahead and quickly check this. Alt V, Z to zoom, let's hit 7 for 75 percent and let's actually check it out. Hey, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and go down a page. So we're going to do control end. I want to do control enter. I'm going to go ahead and control enter and that pops me down to the next page. And as you can see, there's the word footer in the footer and there is my next page number. Let's go ahead and do control enter. Let's do control enter again. So let's go ahead and insert some text. We're going to do equals rand left parent right parent another wonderful DOS command so you can actually practice inserting text let's do control enter and make a new page and as you see we have popped to a new page we're already down to page six control enter again there's page seven believe it or not we actually are moving pages so let's go ahead and control up arrow each time and control up arrow moves one paragraph at a time okay so we've got all these great new page numbers inserted and don't we love that okay alt v z let's go ahead and put it at 100 percent and there you are okay practice those skills and come back for more at yourtechvision.com